So uh, in the last video, we saw uh, some basic operations that uh, we uh, can do with uh, arrays. Um, now we're going to see how uh, we can add and remove items into an array. Um, so let's consider this array of fruits as uh, say uh, apple and uh, mango in this. Mm, okay. Mm, and uh, Okay, uh, now uh, because JavaScript is a high level language uh, and unlike a language like uh, C or C++, uh, there are uh, some, uh, first of all the arrays are dynamic in nature and that's why uh, we can add new items into that array and remove existing items from that array very easily and there are some existing methods inside an array which help us do that. Uh, so. The first uh, pair of functionalities that we're going to discuss is uh, push and pop. Now, uh, this is something that uh, we uh, generally associate with data structures like stacks. Uh, in uh, JavaScript, you can do push and pop with a simple array as well. So if I do uh, fruits dot uh, push mm, melon and uh, I'll just uh, run this. So you can see uh, melon has been uh, added and uh, if uh, we do a pop after that uh, say uh, fruits dot uh, pop and uh, then we can take a look at the result uh, after we do that. So uh, push and pop uh, work uh, the way um, it happens in uh, stacks. So for example, if you have uh, an array uh, like this, okay, and uh, so there are items in this uh, array. So when you're doing a pop, uh, the last item here uh, gets uh, removed from the array and your new array is this part, okay. And uh, similarly, uh, push also works from the end of it. So if you have uh, this uh, array with you, you take a new item and you do a push, it's going to come at the end of this array. Okay, that's how uh, push and pop operators uh, work. So uh, next, uh, there are uh, two more methods inside an array which help us remove and add items towards the beginning of it instead of at the end, which is the shift and unshift functions. So let's start off with uh, uh, fruits dot uh, shift. If I call fruits dot shift and I uh, log uh, it basically. So. Um, Let's just comment this part out and we'll just look at the result of uh, shift. So you can see originally the array had apple and mango and when I call shift, uh, the first item uh, inside the list gets uh, shifted out. And uh, you can also add new entities uh, using unshift, which is uh, fruits dot uh, unshift. And inside unshift, uh, we can uh, add say kiwi and uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, fruits now and see kiwi has been added to it uh, another thing about unshift uh, and also about uh, push and pop operations is that you can add multiple items uh, you can add kiwi and uh, say grapes so do it like this and you do unshift so kiwi and grapes are unshifted into fruits uh, keep in mind they are unshifted uh, in the same order so it means if i shift kiwi and grapes uh, the array will start with uh, kiwi uh, grapes and then it will have uh, mango as you can see here um, similarly with uh, the bob operation that we had uh, the push operation that we had we can uh, do similar stuff with the push operation too that is, uh, like you can see, um, originally we had this array which was apple and mango and uh, when we pushed melon into it, it became apple, mango, melon and if we add uh, kiwi here, 
so a fourth item gets added here as you can see so uh, usually uh, we use uh, if we have to add or remove items to the, the end of the array if it's towards the end we use push and pop and if you have to do it in the beginning we can use shift and unshift operators